The Iowa Hawkeyes had an impressive game on Friday, beating Minnesota 35-7 after losing their first two games of the season. Iowa has now won their last two games in dominating fashion. Hawkeye quarter reporter Corey Rolden has a report on their win. For the sixth straight season, Floyd of Rosedale is staying in Iowa City. The Iowa Hawkeyes defeat the Minnesota Golden Gophers by the score of 35-7. to Coming into the game, Minnesota was averaging 36 points per game and had one of the best rushing attacks in the country. But the Hawkeyes would have none of that, holding Minnesota for 3.6 yards per rush attempt and only allowing Minnesota to score with 14 seconds left in the game. You know, Minnesota's a very veteran team on the offensive side. Not only veteran, but uh, really, really talented. Uh, veteran offensive line, big physical group. Their, their skill guys are outstanding. You know, it takes 11 guys to stop um, to stop a good offensive football team. Not one guy's going to do it, and uh, I think that's what we saw today. If you want to be in the pitcher, you got to get to the ball. The, the pitcher's going to be taking where the ball is. So all week, all week and weeks before, we've been preaching getting to the ball and we've seen like he's a hard runner and he runs through arm tackles and he doesn't go down easily. So the more people we got at the ball, the easier it will be to bring him down. Iowa leads the nation with 61 interceptions since 2017. But is that a point of emphasis for the Hawkeyes defense? Yeah, we're always trying to get takeaways. We have our uh, defensive goals every week and three, at least three takeaways, whether that be interceptions or fumbles. Or, uh, that's one of the goals every week. So uh, that's definitely a point of emphasis and uh, we've been doing a good job. The Hawkeyes rushed the ball effectively against Minnesota, having 235 yards on 35 attempts. The game plan was to be able to be successful in the run game, um, and obviously we were able to do that. Um, our O-line, like once, I, once again, our O-line did a fantastic job of just getting to their blocks and uh, honing on the fund fundamentals and allowing us to get open holes to run through. So with COVID protocols in place, did the Hawkeyes get to celebrate with Floyd in the locker room? I went in there, I was the first person to get in the locker room and try to pick it up by myself. It's a little heavier than I thought. <laughs> been a while. Just taking them on the bus with us, right? I think you guys have reminded me of that a couple times over the last 22 years. So, figured we'd uh, take Floyd with us and leave the timeouts here. In the past two games, Iowa has outscored their opponents by the score of 84-14. to Now the Hawkeyes will turn their attention to Penn State. I'm Corey Rolden, Local 4 Sports.